much, Paul. A North County man faced two rare diseases less than a month before his newborn son entered the world. The doctor said he was near death. Our Diamond Palmer is here with us this morning, introduces us to a family in what they call a miracle and their message to take your health serious. Diamond? Yeah, that's right. Well, Jerron Petty and Brianna Adams were actually preparing to bring in their third child into this world when everything changed. And SSM Health actually says the disease that he was battling is only a disease that a handful of people face. And now this morning, the family says they are thanking the doctors and their faith. <laughs> One might look at this couple and think everything looks normal, but in June, their world was flipped upside down when Jerron Petty started having flu-like symptoms. His girlfriend, Brianna Adams, had a sinking feeling it wasn't good. I had to take a cold shower to kind of like just cool off. Like it was like I got so hot I was sweating. Right when he walked into the bathroom, he hit his arm on the wall. He wasn't like he didn't even make it in the bathroom and just fell back. Petty was rushed to the hospital where he spent weeks. Eight of those days were in the ICU. At almost 37 weeks pregnant with two children, Adams says she feared she would lose the love of her life. I just remember the things I was saying was like, no, 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 like you're about to have a son. Like I can't do this without you. I can't do this without you. She spent countless hours at SSM Health DePaul Hospital. Although Petty doesn't remember much because he was in a medically induced coma, he remembers what doctors told him before that. Because they was telling me like I had certain things failing and like I was pretty much dying at that point. Doctors diagnosed him with two rare diseases, endocarditis and pericarditis. He developed the heart conditions likely due to an infection in his bloodstream. Justin Grady with the hospital had this to say about Petty's condition. A lot of different consultants, multidisciplinary approach for what was going on with him. It took upwards of 50 to 100 people to save his life. Um, required a lot of sedation and ultimately just a lot of care to get him through it. On July 7th, everything changed. Doctors were able to improve Petty's condition and coordinate with Adams to reduce his sedation so he could be there for the birth of his son. Just to see him up and awake was like, Okay, I knew he was going to be okay. Like, I knew God had this. I knew he was going to be all right. Erica Melrose with the hospital says it was a team effort. First, everybody had this, like, really a sigh of relief knowing that they were both there in the room together. Petty has since returned home and says the near-death experience has his family thankful for each other. Seeing her, like, do everything she had to do while I was in the ICU and out, like, it really made me, like, like I knew like I, I got the right one. Like I don't know. <laughs> like it reassured me. Like it was like I know I got a good one. Incredible story. I mean that the family support. Mm -hmm. That is wonderful. So how is the son doing now? Yeah, the good news is baby Adonis is doing well. He's two months old and he is happy to join his two other siblings. So they now have three uh, children, that family there. But doctors say um, the dad has to take things easy now. Um, he has to live a different life. Of course, a slower pace lies life, but also a strict medicine schedule. Um, really, the concern here now is just trying to do things um, a different way than you did them before and living a slower life. Yeah. Oh, gosh, and that's going to be so hard with three kiddos, isn't it, to yeah. live a slower life? Got to take care of yourself. That's right. And the yeah. family is asking, though, um, for any support with their medical bills. Um, obviously, during this time, he couldn't work. And so that's the concern now as they kind of recover on this long journey. All right. We've got their GoFundMe page. We do. Them. Okay. That's on our website. Great story. Thanks so much, well, Thank you.